you know, you don't want people taking sedatives, but people need to learn how to work through their anxiety. And that's like a lot of what my lab works on, like tools, you know, double inhale through the nose till your lungs are full, then long exhale. That's the fastest way we know to really quickly calm down. Mm -hmm. This isn't breath work. This is just a a pattern of breathing that we know can really dispel stress quickly. Yeah. Um, So-called, it's like... And you just dump all this carbon dioxide, which yeah. is, so some people, frankly, um, a lot of people who are really overweight or even mildly overweight uh, who have sleep apnea have more anxiety mm-hmm. because they're not getting rid of CO2. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they're literally suffocating in sleep and they're, you'll see these people, they're mouth breathers. <sighs> not even necessarily just people who are overweight. So it's not good to be a mouth breather. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't blow off enough CO2, anxiety yeah, I've goes heard up. you should sleep with like athletic tape on your mouth so you train yourself to breathe through your nose because apparently it's way better for you. Yeah, I'll do cardio. I do a long run once a week or some long cardio. I do it. Um, I try not uh, mouth breathe the whole time. Can it also change face shape? Yeah, so there's a wild book called Jaws, A Hidden Epidemic by colleagues of mine at Stanford. And they show they have these twin studies. One kid grows up in a culture where they eat a lot of soft food, drinking Capri Sun, eating applesauce, baby food. The other one is, you know, got stuck in the jungle or wherever it is, and they're (laughs) chewing on bones and chewing their food. And one kid, these are identical twins, has beautiful jaw structure and high cheekbones, and the eyes look nice and clear. The other kid is like droopy, the teeth are there, and their mouth breathing. They show this, there's one case of this young girl who just, she got a pet, or a pet hamster, I think it was, got a a uh, allergy to the hamster and literally took this beautiful young girl and she just, her face just starts aging at a rapid rate. They get rid of the hamster. She goes back to nasal breathing. They do a little of encouragement of nasal breathing using the mouth closure thing at night, do a little bit of medical tape. And like her, these beautiful, almost like model-esque features come back in this girl. Hmm. Jaw shape and the clear to the nasal passages. You know, really there's no reason why any of us should ever had had, I had braces, but all your teeth should fit in your mouth, Mm -hmm. right? And you should be able to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth with your mouth closed. I can't quite do it. Your your palate should be somewhat wide, you know? And so when we see, now there's the Jawser sizer is really big in Hollywood. That and peptides are like taking over. Wait, Jawser sizer? Yeah, they have these like things where like- Bouncy (laughs) mouthpiece. Yeah, it looks, it, the only problem is it makes people drool. It's pretty gross. But, you know, you, it's Those work. exercise. They definitely work. They change your facial structure. They dilate the the um, uh, the nasal passages. You look at somebody who keeps their facial muscles strong. There's, and this is for women and men, their jaw muscles strong. We're not talking about the like, you know, like, I mean, there's certain people who are like genetic freaks, like my friend Laird Hamilton. He's got, you know, his like big old neck and like yeah. huge jaw. Like he looks like a, you know, an actor from the 70s or something. He's just- yeah. naturally that way. Um, but people who care about their facial structure, especially who don't want, a lot of people are concerned with like, what's going on with my skin? A lot of um, women and men are like putting all the stuff on and figure out how to get rid of the droopy eyes. It's actually a facial muscle issue. And had, were they just to do some jaw exercises and focus on not mouth breathing, it completely changes the structure of the face in just two, three months. And there's, yeah, there's like Holy skincare shit. salons called like Face Gym and other places where they're literally giving your face a workout and you'll notice that it's like a lymphatic type of massage. It'll change oh, after so. one session. So I imagine just doing the training. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when girls are getting like, uh, maybe this doesn't work actually. When girls are getting filler to like put in, like they have the hollow space or whatever here or Gosh. here. Does that? Does that? Well, I look at the plastic surgery thing now, and it's kind of crazy. I mean, maybe this just reflects my age and my generation, but I see some people with wearing so much dark eye makeup, plus they're getting the cheekbone inserts. They look like skeletons. Mm. Now that's not. Yeah. Every listen, everyone's got their taste, especially if they're really lean, you know. And then, but. Facial structure is something that can be modified. Mm. Um, and so the having a chewing your food, chewing hard foods is something we used to do a lot more. All this slurping down of food and calories we know isn't good from the obesity side, but it's also not good from the jaw structure, teeth structure, face structure. Mm. And it's all related, you know? So that book, Jaws, is amazing. The, people can just look it up online if they yeah. want to buy the book. Just do, um, you know, Jaws, um, mouth structure, face structure, and then just go images. And you'll see these <laughs> pictures. And this was known in the 1800s. There was a book called Shut Your Mouth by a British doctor who talked about the fact Mm. that people who snore sleep like this and then during the daytime they become mouth breathers. He said they become less attractive than the people who are um, uh, nose breathers. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. And this is like a zero cost thing, but um, it's not emphasized enough. Um 